I guess it's that time of year again. Squash bugs. Squash bugs everywhere. Well, not everywhere. Right now, they seem to be congregated mostly on my zucchini plants. I've got lots of them on the zucchini. Not so many on the yellow squash. And I'm not sure exactly why that would be. I have a couple of ideas. It may just be that they prefer zucchini a little bit more than yellow squash. Or it might be because I haven't quite made it this far in weeding the garden. And so this is all grown up and it gives them lots and lots of places to hide. Or possibly it could be some combination of those things. But regardless of why they are, where they are, I need to get rid of them. And I think I've found a good way to do it. Are you ready for it? Check this out. It is just dish soap. Now, when I first started reading about this online, I thought to myself, man, that can't be right. It can't be that easy. It can't be that easy. Everybody complains about squash bugs. If it was just as simple as some dish soap, they wouldn't be an issue, right? Then I started to think more, and it works on wasps. If you're ever having trouble with wasps around the house, man, just mix you up a nice concentrated solution of dish soap and water, heavy on the dish soap. It'll knock those things down as fast as the good commercial stuff. You know, you go to Walmart, and you get the good expensive commercial wasp killer, and it knocks them down, and they're dead within like 10 seconds. You get the cheap stuff, and you spray them. They fly around for about five minutes, and then they, they kind of slow down, and then sometimes they get up and fly away again. Soapy water will kill them as well, if not better, than the good wasp spray that you get at Walmart. So here's what we're going to do. I've got my little spray rig here. I've got about two gallons of water in here. And uh, from what I read online, it seemed to be about a tablespoon per liter of water. This thing has, it holds 7.6 liters. So I'm um, seven and a half tablespoons or something. I don't know. I'm just going to go for it. What's this? We're going to just... We're going to use a whole bunch of soap. I like to go heavy on the soap. And instead of, you always see people saying Dawn. I don't think that matters. I picked up Ajax Ultra and it says Super Degreaser. That's something that's pretty important. We'll talk more about that as we go. I got this stuff at the Dollar Tree for a buck. So we're about to go kill all of the squash bugs in our garden for a buck. Now we're gonna spray a little bit more water in there to get it all nice and mixed up. Now let's go kill some squash bugs. Now before I start spraying these things, I wanna try to explain to you at least my understanding of how this works. So bugs, they don't breathe like you and I breathe. They don't have lungs, they don't inhale and exhale. They have these little holes in some places in their joints, depending on the, the, the type of insect, but air kind of moves into their body through their through those holes called spiracles and they can force air to go in and out of their body whenever they flex their joints or or whatever but they also have this oily kind of waxy coating over their exoskeleton that so uh, when water hits them it just kind of beads up maybe you've seen this before you've seen a bug or an insect and there was just, the water was just beaded up on it but, and that's the reason for that there's a waxy coating and that's super important for them because it keeps water from going into those little spiracles and drowning them. That's where the soap comes in, and that's why the super degreaser stuff is good. So by spraying these things with soapy water, the first thing that happens is the soap is going to dissolve that waxy layer, much like it would oil or grease on your hands or your dishes. And that is going to allow the water to rush into their body and it's gonna drown them. And it's a pretty quick process, at least it is with the wasp. So I'm curious to find out if it works the same way on the squash bugs. But how do you know if you have squash bugs? Of course you see them. When they get bad, you're gonna see them. But some other signs, if you look in here, you see that zucchini, it's all shriveled and yellow. It's because the squash bugs, they have their little proboscis, it's a little needly thing, their, it's their mouth part. They will stick it into the fruit and they will suck the juices and stuff out of it. It'll do the same thing with your tomatoes. If you ever get a tomato that's slightly off color and then there are these little brown dots all over it, that's probably what you got, squash bugs. Something else to look for are the eggs. There they are, see those little copper colored things? Those are your squash bug eggs. Now these are on top of this leaf 
generally you're going to find them on the underside of leaves so when you see these things it's, you definitely want to get rid of them i'm just going to squash them um i've read that you can just take them and toss them onto the ground and then the beetles will find them and eat them i'm just going to squish them be double sure that i got rid of them now i just saw something else that i want to point out i'm going to try and do a video on these guys at a later date see these in your garden uh kill them with fire don't necessarily kill them with your hands though i'll explain why in a later video now i'm ready to get in there and start spraying these things and see if it works but i'm not gonna not until you get down there and hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if you haven't already you did all right let's go now generally i would just want to spray these things and spray and spray and spray and just kill them all and not worry about it. But for science sake, I would like to capture so I can watch. So we're going to pull this leaf. These are the little babies. Notice that they have black legs, kind of a bluish gray body. And these get bigger. You'll know when you find an adult because it's going to look like this. But I'm going to put this thing down in a spot where I can see it. I want to see if it kills these. I've got my sprayer on a shower function. Let's see what happens here. Spray them down. Hit them a little more. There we go. We want some of that soap. The soap is the magic. And, wow, I mean, here's one, did, I'm not seeing a lot of movement in here, man, there's one, did, here's one that's still moving, all right, give me a second, I want to put some more of this water in my hand, see what happens. Okay, there we go. We just got him covered. Man. That was quick. Well, that was a pretty promising little trial run. Now let's go spray for reals. This time I'm going to spray no mercy. I'm going to cover all of the leaves, even if I don't see bugs. They really like to kind of hang out right in the middle of the plant. Right in there. So you want to make sure you hit that really good. Sometimes they're hard to see. So you start spraying and then they start scattering. And now they start climbing up. And I'm not getting all of them by any means. There are way too many of them. And they hide in too many places. But, man, just from preliminary observation, it's looking like this is super effective. Look at that. See them all? And they are dead. They're not just sitting there. They are dead. Quick, too. This is awesome. As I check through and survey the damage, the carnage, I realize that we won a major victory today. We have decimated the population. But I know that the war is far from over. There are many more lurking mating, laying eggs. So tomorrow is another battle. I am shocked at how well this worked. I mean, just soapy water and it's taking out those squash bugs like nothing. I really hope this video has helped you out. Man, if you are currently infested with squash bugs, try this soapy water just dish soap something that's good for degreasing and, and it'll knock them out now it's going to take me several applications because i've got them pretty bad and they're really good at hiding so i'm probably going to have to uh, get rid of the weeds that's going to be step one and then i'm going to have to do several applications to get rid of the current infestation and while i'm doing that i'm going to have to watch for eggs get rid of those so that we get rid of any future infestation 
but we're going to get this. We're going to get it under control. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope it's helped you out some. If so, be sure to hit that thumbs up button and then you can click on one of these right here for more daily sustainable living.